Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Thought I'd have a couple of shots of whiskey tonight. And uh, this is actually inspired by something a lady at work mentioned to me that I thought, this sounds too weird. I've absolutely got to try this as a little tasting video. Uh, you may recall about a year ago, I tried vodka with herring and uh, horseradish on it, which seemed like a bizarre combination. My cousin's husband said the Russians really like that, and I tried it, and it was actually not too bad. Uh, this particular thing sounds similarly bizarre, but I'm willing to give it a shot. My, uh, the, the lady at work was mentioning this thing is called a pickleback, and that's what we're going to be drinking. We're going to knock back a pickleback. What does that involve? Well, she said you got to get some whiskey, and she specified Jameson whiskey, which we happen to have some right here get that standing by. Just going to be taking a shot of it. So of course I've got out the old blade runner shot glass and we're going to have a little uh, go with that. And here's the weird part. After having a shot of that, she suggests what you do next, if you want to call it a pickleback, is you knock back a chaser of pickle juice. This is Bix uh, Baby Dills. I'm going to strain some of the juice out of that, put it in a glass, and I'm going to chase down the Jameson whiskey with some pickle juice. That is what a pickleback is. It sounds weird. I'm willing to give it a try. Now, the first thing I want to do is just try out the Jameson on its own because I've been having all that Johnny Walker recently and various other things. I don't really know how Jameson whiskey compares. So I'm just going to have a shot au naturel, just regular old Jameson whiskey, just to get an idea of what the flavor is so that when I chase it with the uh, pickle juice we'll see if, what that's actually like. So, cheers. Well, I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm quite liking that Jameson. It's very reminiscent of the Johnny Walker, um, but it's got kind of a more sparkly effervescent aftertaste to it. Yeah, it's uh, very nice. I like it. I think probably it would be a nice contender or competitor to Johnny Walker. It's in that league. I mean, uh, it's not super expensive Talisker type stuff, but uh, that's, it's very, very nice. Now, we got to set this stuff to the side because we got to prepare the pickle juice. All right. Get my strainer standing by. I'm doing it this way so that you can see I'm really genuinely drinking pickle juice. I'm not uh, cheating by just putting some lemonade or something like that in there. So let's strain some of the stuff in there. There's even a couple pickles left in the jar. So you can see it's, it's the genuine McCoy there. All right, let's set that there and... All right, so let's just get ourselves another shot of Jameson. So let's knock back the Jameson first and then immediately follow it with the pickle juice. What's that like for a flavor combination? <clears throat> it's it's okay. Do they complement each other? Um, maybe a little. Hmm. There's a flattening element in the pickle juice. Something that um, if if Jameson is as I said before, kind of sparkly. Um, but this almost acts like a cushion for that sparkliness, or if this was a um, a sharp, spiky type of a flavor, uh, this is sort of smoothing it out. In a weird way, like uh, in an alcoholic sort of frame, it's almost like uh, how with curries and stuff you have um, yogurt with it to kind of cool the, the heat and the spiciness of the curry. That's a little bit what the pickle juice does for the whiskey. I'll just do it one more time as a, to verify my findings here. All right. 
it. One last shot of Jameson. Rapidly with the pickle juice. Yeah, <clears throat> that is a strange combination, but very much like the um, the vodka and the uh, the fish, that they do kind of go together. Um, they're like two parts of an equation. You know, this is the uh, spicy kind of um, fiery drink, and that is the cooling down calming drink. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know who dreamed this combination up, but it does kind of work. So I think, I don't know that I'll be doing it very often. We don't have too many uh, jars of pickles just lying around, but Jameson's very nice. I might uh, give that a home later on, but yeah. Um, all right, so there we go. We have now knocked back a pickle back. And I guess until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.